Hi YouTubers, we're back down in uh, the basement apartment. It's been a couple weeks, but uh, so far we've got our lower cabinets set where we want them. Got the fridge down here, dishwasher, stove, and microwave. And we're pretty much going to install the microwave today. So that's what this one's about. This is again the old plug, so we had to move the plug over here in this cabinet so we'll be drilling through and plugging in there and then we got a stud here we got a stud here um so what we did um is we took our stud finder um and we found where our studs were and i've already pre-marked them so i know where to go but you just go and find your stud, boom, just like that. And then you have your lower mount um, that goes here. So I'll be putting, basically I'll be putting the microwave temporarily, drilling the holes for here and here. Um, got a, found a nice new, um, new microwave on Marketplace for about 200 bucks so it's gonna work really nice uh, for what we need cords a little short so we're gonna make sure we drill the hole there uh, as closely as we can um, but no scratches uh, it's kind of set down here for <laughs> about a year so I'm excited to get it in today and uh, get this microwave going so I'll bring you along all right so um here we are trying to install this microwave i've done uh, several uh cabinet installs on microwaves and um <clears throat> what i do is i just use a jack and um, a stick as you can tell there and jack it up measure it pull it back down um first thing we had to do is uh, find a place for the electrical wire or and um, up through the cabinet there and then through that hole there to the plug so looks like it's gonna pretty much sit in the right place so there you go just wanted to show you what i was doing we're still going to do some time lapsing here i think i'm over the camera so you guys can see really see what i'm doing but all right so um we've got our hole drill for the plug um, and then we're basically just getting ready to um, put up the back bracket and it's really important that you get that into studs because that's what really holds the microwave and its weight so I tape it up there first find the studs drill it in make sure that it's nice and and then you know you have all kinds of measurements of course um, with that and then you just take your microwave and stick it up there and then you tilt it up <clears throat> um, and you know I put the jack and the stick under it just for support and then um, check the bolts at the top for the microwave that go into the cabinet and these are really important because you want to make sure that you get the washer in the in the screw so that it can hold the weight of the microwave <clears throat> and um, you set, there are some adjustments needed you're not going to be perfect on where your hole is and, and whatnot so sometimes you have to take it down reconfigure just like we just did I had Dalton out for just a few minutes um, to visit us, and that was nice of him to help. So, um, yeah, it worked out really well. All right, so we got the microwave in. As you can tell here, looks like we got a light on here. Uh, but yeah, it installed pretty good. Had a couple of problems um, where you got the two screws in there, got the power plug in. Um, plugged in pretty good hidden behind there looks pretty nice and then it yeah opens up doesn't wobble or anything it's pretty solid got the uh, adapter in back there something must have happened there but yeah looks pretty good and then it just goes all right um, so while Laura's in there sanding and staining the kitchen cabinet sorry i'm in here doing the countertops 
we have decided to um, have a ledge on the back and we're going to tile that in and then this is pretty much where the countertops are going i'm going to cut it off here and a little bit there and then we're going to have this piece 23 half an inches that way and then the oven will go in the middle so i'll show you when i get down there but what i'm doing here is just taping the line um, it's really good to tape here and push down on the tape so when you cut this it doesn't chip this side so and uh it's getting there all right so i was able to cut the um two countertops and put the fridge over here where it goes got this small countertop flush and then we've got um the long one cut to where i'm gonna have to build a uh, frame here and then we're going to do some just faux there um, with Audi, Naughty Otter. And uh, that's where that goes. And then I'm cutting this one right here. It's 23 and a half. And we're going to have it go to the wall. It's also going to have a ledge. And then behind here, we're just putting a board on the back. And then we're going to tile that in. So a little extra little shelf on the back. So that's what it's looking like. Uh, it's a big chore, but yeah, we'll have a frame there. Um, but it's starting to look like a kitchen. Right there, fridge there. And I'm about to cut this uh, butcher block here. So we're cutting it, but it'll go flush with the wall. Have a little lip out here. And then the cabinet's gonna slide over basically to match the, the cabinets. So just a little bit more, but, and this is the stain that Laura's doing. And then uh, she's in here staining and sanding away. Yep. We got some of the cabinets sanded. Oh, very good. All prepped for uh, getting some of that some stain. clear off, huh? Okay, well, stain away. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, um, so I've got this countertop cut and measured. Got the little piece over here. And again, they're not permanent, so they're just sitting there. And then we got the butcher block over here. Um, we took the, the door sliders out to clean, and Laura's working on those right now. But I got the butcher block cleaned up, cut up, and that's where it's gonna be. So we're going to take a pause on the creative side and get some cleaning done. The apartment's just covered and drywall dust and um, get these ceilings sanded afterwards but yeah so excited all right laura's doing the stain We're watching here laura is cleaning sanding and staining these are fully um oak i do believe cabinets and um we're just pulling the varnish and the old stain off of them so they're uh, they were a little yellow and uh, needed some refreshing so that's what laura's doing we're doing dark oak on these and um <clears throat> laura has all the details here man she is just amazing when it comes to sanding and details and just has an eye for this kind of thing I, on the other hand, I'm a bull in a china shop. You know, I I don't think I do very well sanding and paying attention to detail. So um, as much of you have seen, most of my work is a little sloppy. So that's where Laura comes in and she just um, <clears throat> takes her time. She sands, um, she looks at the details. She pulls this down. This These cabinets have really thick wood. Um, they're naughty otter so they're in real good shape and um i think we're really gonna do good um as you can tell she's taking the sander to these uh, we are using an electric sander um with i think 10 grit sandpaper really soft so we're not ripping the wood up putting scratches on it um <clears throat> and then she's just wiping it down and then um applying the stain to it you'll see that in a minute um, you do have to kind of get hands on with this a little bit uh, in the cracks and in the crevices there where the sander doesn't go to but 
we've done this a couple times with some of our homes and um, <clears throat> yeah these these are the full wood um, cabinets that we've ever had so they're gonna stain up really good um, she's also doing the drawers so we couldn't do uh, any drywalling or sanding or anything like that because it would stick to the stain so we kind of put the drywalling and sanding on, on pause while I did the countertops microwave and she's doing the sanding so um, really grateful for Laura and all that she does with this and um, you know takes her time and does it right the first time so um, I hope you guys enjoy this video if you have any questions on the tools that we use it's really important when you stain that you do use gloves um, because that stain will just it'll be there for weeks and it's hard to get out of everything and, and just use an environment that you can get dirty in uh, we chose the master bedroom because it's just uh, you know it's not ready so um, but we're excited uh, if you have any questions on the tools that we use um, I'll try to put it in the details um, and uh, yeah we'll just move on to it as you can tell here um, she's applying the stain with a cheesecloth so um, it's a brilliant idea um, and seems to just put it down evenly uh, without dribbles and drips and uh, she's letting them dry uh, moving them over uh, to an area we decided to turn a fan on kind of in opposite direction and open the window since it's warm here um, it seems to dry the stain pretty quick so uh, but again um, I hope everybody enjoys the video let uh, drop some likes um, some comments some shares and uh, let us know what you want to see next but we're just moving along with this apartment um, hoping to have you know we're, we're, we're really reaching for the end of July to have the apartment done and occupied but uh, we'll see things keep coming up and delays and all kinds of stuff so you just have to expect that when you're on your when you're doing your own build so thanks for watching and uh, we'll catch you next time all right well thanks for watching and uh, just want to give a shout out to the Home Depot for people for helping us out